In this video, I'm going to take you through how to install the Prusa Slicer software so that you can take your SDL file that you've exported from Tinkercad, bring it into the Slicer software and export it as G-code so that your 3D printer is able to read it. So first we go to the Prusa Slicer website. You can type in Prusa Slicer download. And choose your operating system. I've got a Mac and I'm going to choose a full installer. When the file has downloaded, you can double click to open it. And drag and drop into your applications folder. Now, if you're using a different operating system, the setup process will be a little bit different. And once the file has been installed, you can go to Prusa Slicer drivers and choose Prusa Slicer. Now, when you open the software for the first time, you'll need to go through the configuration assistant. So click on next. And you need to choose the 3D printer that you're using. So it defaults to have mini family selected. So you need to untick this because we're using the Prusa Mark III S. So untick this one and choose Prusa i3 Mark III S and it's going to be the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Click on next. We're not using either of these two machines, so you can just click next. Click next. Next. The software has a lot of options when it comes to filament profiles. So we're going to leave all selected, giving us as many options as possible, whatever filament we happen to be using. Click on next. And you can leave these two options selected and we'll leave this blank and we'll just leave this set on simple mode we can change this later and click finish so you'll see what looks like a printer bed in front of you and this is where we'll work with our designs to export them as g-code so that they can be read and printed by our 3d printer